hey welcome back to another raised by wolves gaming episode back with some more destiny 2 weapon reviews and on our journey to review every weapon in the game it seems that i missed one of the ones i picked up from an adventure so let's take a look at this one it is the whip scorpion 3mg it's a vice style submachine gun that you get from the stop and go adventure on the edz it has lightweight frame arrowhead break full bore steady rounds and tap the trigger grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull. Also going to take a look at the rare sniper rifle, the Tongarin LR3. This one has a pretty unique model and it comes with rapid fire frame, which means low impact. It has long view and long view. So this one is the SLR20 long zoom. This is the SLR10 medium zoom. It has ricochet rounds and field prep, increased ammo reserves, and faster reload when crouched. These are typically not my favorite style of sniper rifles. I like to go for the higher impact ones, but we'll give this one a try. Never used it before. Let's see what happens if we can pick up some power ammo. I do have one energy handling mod and one energy recoil mod on my armor. Going to stick with the Syntheseps here, and in the kinetic slot, I have the Half Dan D. The auto rifle from Hake, haven't used it in a while, but just wanted to mix it up a little bit, so we'll throw that one on as well. Alright, we got our loadout set, and we are featuring a unique rare weapon. Let's jump into quick play with the Whip Scorpion. Supremacy. Okay, here we go. We got Supremacy on Javelin 4 with the Whip Scorpion. Okay, this guy's over here. Whoa, whoa, this thing is hard to control. Oh my goodness. Wait, I need to... Yeah, that thing is coming straight. I mean, it's it's not side-to-side -side bad, but without touching the stick, it really, really goes up in the air. Take that. Shoulder charge for the win. Wow, I forgot how much half Dan bounces all over the place, too. This is going to be interesting. Stay on target. Stay on target. Got him. I feel like this thing needs about 10 more bullets in the magazine to really be effective. And, of course, they have Vigilant Swing. Why wouldn't they? These guys are just waiting over here for the heavy. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. Got him. Okay. Lightning grenade. Oh my god, why? Oh. <laughs> I got the kill with that thing. Poorly placed. Wage war like a true titan. Oh my goodness, Double yes. Down. Double down. That grenade was doing work. Nice placement, me. Um crests. Let's pick up some crests. One to destroy them. The other to claim them. Take that guys. As one. Okay, Half Dan's doing some things, but we need some kills with the Whip Scorpion. My god, my team. My team is doing so well. Oh, did he really just tether all them over there? Hey, gang. That didn't kill him? You're dominating the field. Oh no! I ran out. I ran out of juice. Oh, turnabout is fair play. Is he out yet? For the love of God. There we go. Pick up my teammate's crest. Oh, the vigilance wing. No. Oh my God. Thank you. No, not against the Vigilance Wing at range. It's not going to work that way. What the? Where did he come from? Hi. Got him. Oh, no. Colony, are you kidding me? Oh, no. Three minutes remaining. Got him, yes. 
Hopefully this time I don't get hit by the colony again, or the vigilance wing, or any of the other spam that's going on over there. No, no, no heavy for you. Where, where did I get shot from? There we go. Let's go. Let's go. There's another. Can we get one more? No, I took... Not ask for a hey, we did it. We did it. I didn't do much, but uh, we did it. Let's try another one. All right, here we go. We got some supremacy on Legion's Gulch with the Whip Scorpion. Well, no, no, no. Okay. We got the half Dan down. We know that works at range. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, okay, it's fine. We're all fine now here. Uh, let's get up here. Yeah. Yay, shoulder charge. I love that move. It's not a one-shot kill anymore, but you can still lead into some pretty fun moves when you lead off with a shoulder charge. Ugh, oh, not enough damage, man. We're gonna need some grenades over here. A couple of them. One there, one there. Just gonna fill this room full of lightning. Like that. All right, all right, all right. How are we getting so crushed? I feel like I'm not playing that poorly. Ooh, ooh, maybe we're just not picking up the crests? Is that what the problem is? Wait, wait, oh wow, across the map, Uriel's gift. No, no, no. You're not doing the little jumpy, floaty, hand cannon thing, okay? Unacceptable. Get this guy. Yes. No, no. Oh, I just got my super... Take that, and that. My grenade greater than your grenade. Yes. Double down. Double down. Left. Shoot him. Don't let him just run up here. Shoot him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Yeah, oh no. Here he comes. No, that's unfair. That's just unfair. Hey. Got him. What? Where you at? No! Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Go, 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 go. Run, run, run. Oh, no! There's somebody... Are you kidding me? There's somebody waiting for me when I go across there? Are you kidding? You know, sometimes I just... I just hate this game. And it's not the fault of the game. It's the fault of the game. See this? See this? Die. Die. Yes. Well, I wouldn't say the Whip Scorpion is necessarily something you want to use if you want to get a lot of kills, but if you love getting team shot and having nothing available to really combat that or do any damage at range or enough up close that you can feel comfortable, you should use the Whip Scorpion, the Half Dan, and the Tongaran Sniper Rifle. A complete lack of punch at any range. Anyway, maybe that's just my lack of skill. In fact, I'm like 93.2% sure that it's my lack of skill. So I'm going to jump back into some more quick play with the Whip Scorpion.